Cello to the good honey beard, beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. I am Hans T. Yeman, and this is another Good Bees video coming to you. The result of poisoning once again. The ants doing our job in trying to get rid of the corpse. All these colonies here were very vibrant until they got poisoned once again. I can only hope that they could recover, but you know definitely it seems like I will have to make plans to move this apri as well what i were doing i will feeding them liquid. These, these are liquid syrup here to feed the, the colonies. I even feeding them, you know, like that. And this was one of the strongest colonies. Look at it. We also had some some strong winds and we had some rain and um, all here had a lot of water. All the colonies are so affected. Now the thing is, when the water came up, came up here, it's a, a small flood. Eh? It washed away quite a lot of the dead bees that were on the ground. The water wash the bees going down that way. They have a lot of bees, dead bees, bodies scattered all over. And I had such nice plans for this area to develop it. But um, if we're going to continuously be getting poisoning, farmer poisoning, then we definitely have to move to a forested area. It's just a matter of time for make preparation to go up to those areas and clean it up and get it ready. So move this whole entire apron here. 
to the, the new site. We had bees there already, you know. So it's not something new. It's just that here is very convenient being right at home. Being right in your backyard, man. You don't have to enter a vehicle and drive for miles to get there. So that is the case. Alrighty then, so thanks for watching. Okie dokie, so here's what's going on. I was able to move three more colonies just now and all the bees that are flying about coming to find their home moved and not being able to, to find it at all. You know what I mean? They would go into the nearest available colony and beg for an entry for a home. So this is what these three boxes are here for. Four boxes actually, this one too, because the amount of bees that die from that box, it made it into a nook. So I move out of the tree that was there, I move the middle one and I got exhausted. So I can't move that one right now. It's already four o'clock and the sun is going down. so. The internal temperature will drop too much and the bees won't be able to recover quick enough to prevent the lava from chilling or the, the eggs from, from chilling. So I have to leave that for another day. We had a little bit of rain and so on this morning so I wasn't able to move it until I see the, the weather temperature build, up, build back up. So I'm almost almost there in moving all these colonies. If you notice there, you would see the bees that will, the bees are coming in, looking to go into the, this colony here on the left because it's the weakest out of the two. Um, that will continue until nightfall. And um, of course, if the weather, heat, if the, the temperature heated up a little more, I would have been able to move that one as well. So this colony here would capture more of the foragers.
any event, tomorrow is another day. So I will venture to move that colony tomorrow. Or I can move it tonight, you know. Yeah, if I get a help to um, lift it up. Because that, that, that colony is pretty heavy. I'm hoping for somebody to pass by and give me a hand. Anyhow, right here from the good honey bee, beautiful Caribbean I love to that. This is Hans T. Yaman bringing you another good bees video. And as you can see, some of these bees here, they don't like they don't know how to beg because look, they cluster in on the outside, the bottom board here. So I can only give you a little synopsis, you know. You have to do the you have to do the thing how you see most fitting for you right so I'm here doing my thing and thanks for watching thanks for sharing thanks for liking the video and giving a thumbs up um, I to keep looking at all different things that is going on here at the yard I have some guys doing some um, tying up some steel over on the other side there uh, we, we have to house the bill so I have been busy over the past couple of weeks doing a whole bunch of stuff and um, that is how it goes all right so I'm trying to see how best I can protect these bees man too much bees are dying I have to do something okay just sit down and do nothing you see how little bees move in the, in the air there they're looking for the hive but they can't find it it's not dead gone <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, all the bees that got poisoned will die off. The stronger ones who didn't get poisoned will be strengthening the weaker nooks that I leave here now. And so that when I move out all the bees entirely, it will just have a couple hundred bees flying around in the area. I'll also have to move this galvanized shed here. So that the bees wouldn't cluster anywhere underneath the galvanized or something to move out everything totally. From here to where I put the bees, right by my home there, the back of my home, is like about 120 feet. And um, that is the best I could do right now. Uh huh, they, they look like they want to go in more in, into that bigger colony there. Yeah, no big thing. They, they might be they might get accommodation there for the night all right folks so this is what is going on right here right now at the good honey bee yard and um, as you can see over there i have everything in our gear so ttfn bye for now Okay, one last thing I forget was to, to uh, forget to mention that just now. I moved the bees at this hour because I know that these colonies usually orient around this time, half past three, four o'clock. And lo and behold, if you notice, this colony which I just moved uh, into the orientation flight. See them there? So the bees that orient will orient to this spot and wouldn't go back to the, the other spot. So when we talk about technique and know-how and experience, this is what we're talking about. The know-how, the experience, and what technique you could use. There are many, many different ways in which you can move bees. And the one I did here is just one of them. It depends on what you want to achieve. And, you know, things like that. So right now these colonies here, I was able to put in one, this one here, two, three. And that one there is orienting really, really nice. I like that. 
I guess these here would have already already oriented for the day so come back and see me you know don't just leave me here by myself look at this drone here was he getting out all right folks this time it's nice time to to do all kind of thing with bees. Oh, another thing. Now that the bees are here, open to the elements, all the elements and rainfall and so on. I had to come and lift the back and put in a piece of shim, a wood shim, so that the back will be higher than the front. And because of that, the bees would, when the water fall on the, the box, it would um. It would just fall off and it wouldn't go in and settle inside the colonies. So that's another thing you have to do. Once you have your bees out in the open. Alright. And we're good to go there, man. All I have to do now is to put some more um, something heavy on top of the telescopic lid so that the colonies, the telescopic lid wouldn't fly off or anything. So TTFN